So Charlize, the film might have the look of a traditional Western, but I think it's safe to say it's closer to John Waters than John Wayne. Um, <laughs> what did you um, make of the script when you read it for the first time? Yeah, it's high concept, and I thought there was a good balance in the narrative that could support something that kind of crazy. Um, and uh, I liked the story. I just thought it was really well written, and I thought the idea of doing something like this with Seth would be um, would be really an opportunity that that I didn't want to pass on. And one of my favorite moments of the film is Anna and Albert Seth's character sitting there, faced by a snake, trying to be very still, but still having a conversation. <laughs> that was uh, hilarious. Um, what was it like um, acting with him? I, it was great. I mean, he just comes very prepared, and there. I think there was a nervousness on his part just because it was the first time he was in a live action. And the thing that you learn pretty quickly is that just because you're not shooting your actual face, the creation of character is still, it's still the same, you know, if, if he's doing that for Family Guy or for Ted. And I think uh, he has an innate talent for that. So he, I found him to be very natural and, and, and really good. I had a couple of days with him where I was just like, stop it already. Like, you're like, really like putting me to shame. And how do you think he handled those multiple roles of being a writer, producer, director, and of course acting in it as well? I think he's, it's really natural for him. I think, I think of him not as one of those things. I really think of him as a very, um, as like the, it's, an, it's, a, it's all about the creative that goes towards making the movie and, and it's very natural for him to do all of that. I love the way Anna and Albert sort of diss the West in the same way that people might say, oh God, it's such a drag living in London or living in um, LA. Um, to what extent does um, Anna kind of share his view of how bad it is out there? They're, they're pretty much, they're, they're pretty close in all of that. And we had, we had a really good discussion of, and during our rehearsal period about, I have always found this pretty fascinating. I, I went through this experience a little bit when I did um, Young Adult with the relationship between um, Mavis and, and the character played by Patton Oswalt. And, I've always loved people because maybe it's so reminiscent. <laughs> maybe it reminds me too much of myself, but I do think we fall in love with each other because we discover somebody hates the same things we do more than love the same things we do. There's a camaraderie and like, you hate that too? That almost makes it okay. That just makes your heart go like that. And we talked a little bit about that. And so that scene really came from on the fence, you know, sharing all of that. And he, I think he added, it was an ad lib there, hate can move mountains. And I think that relationship sincerely came out of that. And it's a period that's romanticized quite a bit though, isn't it? How do you think you'd fare? I mean, costumes for one don't look like they would be that comfortable, the, the fashion. <laughs> yeah, I mean, the thing is you could be all tough and talk a good game and, 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 and have all those skills and, and be tough and all of that. But the, I think that the, it's disease and animals that you can't control and that's just around the corner and I really just don't want to play that game. And what about um, working with Liam Neeson? How did you, much did you enjoy creating that on-screen relationship with him? As Clinch Leatherwood, a brilliant screen name, I think. I know, right? He was great. He's uh, incredibly funny. I think, I think that's what's so surprising about him. He's got a great sense of humor about him, but he really, I think he, he, uh, he's the weight, he's the gravitas of this film, and I think that's why it works, because when he comes on screen, you really, you feel the threat, and I think that's what kind of sets the bar as high as it does. And just finally, um, Young Adult was one of my favorite films of oh, recent years. Nice. Um, and it's got a kind of dark comedy um, flow to it as um, this has a, sort of a dark edge. Would you say that's the kind of comedy that you gravitate towards as an actor and as an audience member? Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I don't know if you can go and do something that you don't find funny. And that's definitely, I like that stuff that, you know, you know deep down inside there's, there's a great amount of truth behind all of it. And uh, I think I think that's definitely where my sense of humor lies. Sorry, Darren. But don't thanks. tell anyone. <laughs> <laughs> thanks very much. Thank you.